Hey, this is Artie Aster from Deftly Droning and Artie Aster Music. I use this same YouTube channel for a couple of things, um, but I use it for my drone videos that I that I make when I just fly around the city of Orlando aimlessly. And, but I also use it for my music channel, and um, I use playlists. And I have Deftly Droning as a playlist, and I have Artie's Singles as a playlist. And the song that's in the background that's going to be looped in the background throughout this video. Um, actually, you know what? I won't do that. I'll put this song on first. I Sing the Blues, my latest release. But I'll put on a different song afterwards. But both of these songs are going to be songs that you can listen to on my playlist under Artie's Singles on this same channel. So if you want to listen to my music, and I recommend it, baby, um, just go ahead and uh, click the Artie Aster name on the channel and go to playlist and then go to Artie's singles and you'll get over 60 of my uh, original songs that I've written, uh, produced, and released. But at any rate, enjoy the droning video. Okay, here I am. I'm down at our Econ Park. I want to take the drone up. Seems like it's actually... Huh. You've got to be kidding me. Now that is nice. Okay. That's good. That makes a difference with the video right there. I had it kind of set up to, to take photographs and everything else. And it was really set up in such a way that um, you would not have um, seen good video. But now it looks like you're going to get some good video. So I, there's this construction project that's going on at the end of Econ Lakachi or Econ Park and um, it's actually quite an extensive um, construction project where they're just building what looks to be probably hundreds of homes and what I want to do is take up the drone and I've been kind of documenting this over the weeks as the homes go up little by little and I want to take the drone up and um, see what we can see and see how far along they've come and this is the closest i've been to the project and i will probably be able to get a view of the whole entire project so let's take this puppy up and we'll be able to see look at all that so we'll really be able to see exactly what's going on this right here was already constructed like quite a while ago it's the stuff way down over yonder that looks, that's new. See all that over there? That's all new. So let's take out the drone, see how far we can go. I'm parked in a parking lot. <clears throat> um, in, in a legal spot, you know? I'm in sport mode, so everything I'll be doing will be um, fast. It's interesting, you can see those, um, those water fountains now inside those little man-made lakes look like they're um, already quite extensive. Not sure why it's going that way. Nope. I want you to go straight. Okay, good. Wow. There's a lot going on out there. Okay, so let's stop right here. I'm going to pan over and go down. So when I first started documenting this whole entire construction project, those four houses down at the below, in the middle of your screen, down below, those four houses were first put up, um, and there was just space over here. Space and road. And now you have, like, what? One, two, three, four, five... 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 more houses going up. And it's so weird that it's not like houses that are, you know, like you wouldn't really say that they were houses that are like in a row. They just, it looks like they're just indiscriminately putting houses up in different spots. Um, and at that highway in the distance over there is 417. Now, if you go that direction over there which is south and continue to go all the way down there you'll end up in um like the lake nona area you know 
but this has been quite a <clears throat> quite a lot of work in the making they've really taken a long time to do all this you know um, it's been months and that's what they have right now of course these lakes I mean they have to be man-made <laughs> and now they have um, water fountains working and everything else um, but it looks like it continues to go and I know that there's going to be a fitness center somewhere so maybe somewhere down there somewhere maybe there's going to be a fitness center you know I don't exactly know where the fitness center would be I don't know what this is in the distance here <clears throat> What is that? That looks like a gigantic. Yeah, that looks like a. Ah, it looks like condos or townhomes or something. Well, the wind is picking up a bit, um, and it's getting dark. All right, so let's take this thing out. We are about 400 feet up in the air, which is all we're really allowed in this area, this part of town. But from where I started. We're like half a mile out already. Wow. Look at that. See, this is the thing that I don't get is you see this little strip of road and it just goes all the way over crosses that whole entire area. It looks like swamp right there. But wow. I wonder what they're going to put there. They have a circle going in. And it looks like they're extending the road forward, but it stops. It stops right there. I don't know if they're going to continue, but man, I just want to see if they're going to continue. And I bet you they are. But you see the, the area cleared out right there. Area is cleared out right there. And you can see roads already built. And it goes all the way down. And you can see it crosses over over there. Oh, I'm losing RC. Let me see, let me come back and I'm, I'm gonna beeline it back to where I am. Right now. See if it comes back fast. <clears throat> I always get concerned when cars move around me that someone's gonna come out of their car and be like, you can't fly drones around here. And trust me, there are people that do that, and you do your best to be respectful. But there are some people, man, they don't know how to mind their own stinking business. You know, you're in a parking lot somewhere, and you're flying your drone, and someone comes over, you can't buy a drone today. And you're like, really? How do you know? Do you work for the city? No, it's, it's just a, this is a private area. No, no, it's not. And you can fly drones in a lot of places. You know, there's... Contrary to, contra uh, to um, popular belief, there's not a million rules against flying drones. All right. That's me actually down there, right? You can actually see me. Hold on. There I am. Uh, you can see my shirt. I can see the drone now, too. Of course, one of the most important things you want to do is um, watch out for bats. It's, it might seem kind of crazy, <clears throat> but bats are a big thing because they fly at your drone. They fly at things. They, they really, they just sense things and then they fly at them, you know?
is the little road they're building. I'm about 60 feet in the air right now, which is pretty much above every tree. I can't see every light. Or every light post. Absolutely is not above um, like 5G. <laughs> and that's something that people um, who are, like when I was new to droning, I didn't really take into consideration how low 5G towers really were. But they're, they're low. So, I don't know how fast that car's going, but I'm doing 35. Alright, there I am. Okay, alright. I'm getting like caught up in weeds and stuff. Uh, Woohoo! So this is a cute little field right here where you can just kind of go fast. I can't even see where I am. There, wait a second, that's me right there. Let's fly fast at my face. Okay. It says I'm 24 feet in the air, which is just a bunch of crap. Because I can tell you right now, I am not 24 feet in the air. Uh, right. So, I am going to land this puppy. Right here. And that's the flight. Landing. 